Welcome everybody to a brand new Let's Play. Call here with you, and this Let's Play is brought to you by MuchGames.ca. Mario was missing for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System version, and this is the first game that got confirmed for 2015. Here and now, so it's probably gonna be the first one I'll do, regardless. This one actually ended up a tie between this one and Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Earthworm Jim. As games that what that want to do that, but it actually ended up well. Mario falling down and some snow, but that's Mario for you. Glad you could drop in. Come on, let's go. And apparently you're doing some more dropping. And you're just like, what the hell's going on here? You ate here. I'm gonna find him. And there goes Luigi. You're just gonna be like, huh? What the hell? But yeah, that's pretty much the plot for Mario is missing. Bowser has a castle down in Antarctica, of all places, and well, he's actually trapped. So we gotta continue our search, or it's a new search. Search what we're gonna do. So you get four, you get your boss there. You get your five zones here. The five zones are based on cities actually in the world. So, which one can we start with? I think what I'll do is... Go from... This one here... Over? Go from left to right in each level? I think there are five worlds, but there's also the NES version and the ms dos version. I think ms dos Oh yeah, by the way, you can't return there unless you have a Yoshi. And you see what he just dropped? It's an actual artifact. Click three of them, and you'll be able to advance. I should hold on to air for this one. Okay, these information boosts with uh, Peach there are going to be important, but we'll come back to that later on. As you can tell, there's a lot of troopers around, and we got to kill them all. So why don't we just find out what city we're in now? As well. And this game kind of, well, does have a bit of educational value. If you get, actually step on a false Koopa, they just disappear. Uh, buttons. I think it's gonna be A or something like that to hit the button. I'm not 100% sure I have to look at this one, but where am I? This is the city name for St. Francis of Assisi in 1776. Hmm, St. Francis. Don't know, I'm not an expert in this, but. Ah, oh, no one over here. Oh yeah, they do randomize their positioning. In a practice one I had of this, they actually were had some up there. But I digress. Now, the best way to get in and out of each zone is to return three artifacts, get any clues that you can, and knowledge will be based a lot here. So, if you hold X, is your run button. Sounds very helpful. Uh, yeah, I want to talk to you. Never mind. July 4th is the most important date when you're in the land of the 50 states. Okay. So, we know that we're in the states. And just about the city, I think... San Francisco, maybe? I should shoot talk to that police officer. Yeah, I really hope you guys do like this Let's Play. Nothing actually do change within it. At the same time, I think Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is actually going to be going on too, so... Oh, and here's the third artifact. So, why don't we just take a look at our artifacts. And first start for that, we have a horn, by the looks of it, a needle, and in the middle there looks like... sort of stack or something? Go up later will help you out too, and you gotta have a photo album too, so we're just gonna move on. There is a computer there which tells you how many people you've talked to. Okay, so where am I? To be more specific, you're on the Pacific and Northwestern. You're on the Pacific and the northern half of California. Yeah, so. Pretty much San Francisco. Which. 
they're gonna destroy all these Koopas because, well, they're here and they're in the way. So yeah, we got like the Yoshi stop for this one. Just gotta scratch my eye out. Well, not really, okay. No, I actually wanna see the map. Okay, so we got a Koopa up there. Three, two, three, four of them left and two people to talk to. Now, the two people that you talk to, they will give you a clue as to what you have to do. If you're wandering around in, in fog and feeling crabby, have some attention to this crab and San Francisco Sourdough. Hmm. Wait. Is there any other sourdough? I mean, you, you gotta be specific. I used to actually work in a bakery department, so I know. Here. I know the difference in my sourdough bread. Uh, here, tourists. California! And here I am, on the west coast, with Uncle Sam! So yeah, we're here on San Francisco. At any point in time, you can actually take a Yoshi with you. Now... Okay, I see only two more, and they're over there. So I can do that. Now what is this? You are in, you're in the San Francisco County. You can cross that bridge when you... Get it to it. I put that foghorn back. Greenhorn. Ah, so the first item we should bring back is the actual foghorn. If you do have the three items at once, you will actually have to go and put a specific one back. So, that should do it for all the Coopers. Yes. So, what we should do is find the best way. I. Yep, okay. I got it mapped out. No, it's the next one. Let's just go up there. So... We get to move on. It's funny how, like... I know we've got a small channel at this point. But... It's also funny how to get this one going. Like that one. So... Here, why is the Golden Gate Bridge? The sun says, but the Golden Gate Bridge Foghorn was stolen and we can't reopen it until it gets returned. Here's a pamphlet for more information. Okay, so, nice mm, reward for that one. Although more of an orange color than its name suggests, the Golden Gate might be the world's most famous bridge. It was built in 1937 and it took four years to complete. It is 4,200 feet long. The main cables withstand winds up to 100 miles per hour. Because the Golden Gate Bridge is covered in fog on most days, it is equipped with enormous fog horns. In the very middle, the bridge is 260 feet above the bay, just tall enough for Navy battleships to pass underneath. So, yeah, I want to actually do this, so you ask away. So, what color is the Golden Gate Bridge? Well, it definitely ain't silver. Uh, let's see, Golden Gate extends to Marin County. So, yeah, at last, the Golden Gate Frog Corner, we're looking over town. The mayor's authorized the present few. It's turn 24, the uh, no reward. Thank you, and good luck finding Mario. Yeah, thank you. So, you can go in here and you actually get a picture of the Golden Gate Bridge. I've always thought the Golden Gate Bridge looked red, though. I mean, it does on TV, anyway. I guess up close, it may actually be orange. I don't know, because I don't actually live in the States. I'm up in the Northeast Coast, called Canada. Newfoundland, actually, to be honest. Okay, so why don't we go to the next sta station? Now, you gotta answer the questions in order to get it. If not, you actually have to wait until the next time, so... Okay, so... Why is the Quake Tower closed today? The sun says, but the window from the court tower was stolen, and we can't reopen until it gets returned. There's the pamphlet for more information. How in the hell does that get stolen? Anyway, 1999 is the reward. Uh, the court tower stands 500 feet above the San Francisco Bay on top of Telegraph Hill. The structure takes its name from Lillian Hitchcock Coit, who donated 125000 to have it built in 1934. The tower honors the San Francisco Fire Brigade, shaped like a tall column. 
It is easy to see why people consistently remark that it resembles a fire hose. Inside, the tower is decorated with 16 large murals. The 25 mural artists were commissioned as part of their make-work program designed to ease financial hardships during the Great Depression. Yeah, I think I got the window here. Okay, so it stands on Telegraph Hill. And what was the name? There we go. So yeah, us, they're all going to say the same thing, so good luck finding Mario and everything. Which should be no problem. I'm going to try to do two levels per episode. Maybe, depending on time frames. Uh, so why is the Transamerican Pyramid closed today? Like the sign says, the top of the Transamerican Pyramid was stolen and can't be opened until it gets returned. Here's a path for more information. Okay, so 1600. The Transamerican Pyramid in, on Columbus Avenue in downtown San Francisco was built in 1972. It has become a landmark due to its unusual shape. Standing 853 feet tall, the pyramid is said to have changed the distinct shape of the city's skyline. San Francisco is very susceptible to earthquakes, while the Indians so much of California. So, the pyramid was built with a flexible concrete base, which makes it one of the most earthquake-proof buildings in all of San Francisco skyscrapers. Uh, yeah, I want to return that, so let's just ask. Okay, so it's located on... Next to the zoo. Of course, Columbus Avenue. Uh, it was completed in 72. Yeah. That was a guess, but one of the other people would have told you that anyway. So... Now, let's go to the Globulator. I want to bring Yoshi up. Now, in case you don't know, Yoshi will always be down there unless you leave him somewhere else. So, Dallas, Texas. That actually is one of the spots. Vancouver, Canada, and Montreal, Canada are two other spots. Vancouver, I think, is in the uh, DOS version, and Montreal is in the NAS version. Actually, I think the DOS version has everything. There's a lot of the major cities in there. Um, where should we go north? Shouldn't I? One more two down here. Yeah. Okay, Yoshi, let's just speed this up. Mm, right here. Yeah, we gotta go speed this up, Yoshi. Forget about the police officer. You get the same four characters, by the way, for each level. All over. And that's all they do is just walk around. It's like, I know that, that it's all... America's supposed to be the fattest country in the world. You don't have to actually show it off like that. It's supposed to be. You know what the fattest province in our province is? Oh yeah, the, I think it's actually us here in Newfoundland. Okay, so yeah, you get a password system which I won't be using. Ah, uh, thirteen twenty-four. I think yeah. Let's just go to another town or city. Okay. Interesting music. And we right away we get an artifact. Okay, I think I know where we're to. Now, if you want to know... Right. There's two more and then some misses. I think we're actually Soviet Russia. Well, Russia, anyway. Moscow, you can ride the Trans-Siberia Railway 1,500 miles through two continents. Okay, so... Nothing there. Actually, I could return that item now, but... I like the... Oh yeah, come on! One step! Damn it, game! Here, let me just stop on you guys. You deserve it after all. One left over there, and then a boy. But how do they travel from place to place? Like, they enter the tower before Luigi even gets there? Um, I meant to jump on you. Okay, so. 
Welcome to the home of the world's largest department store. In Cyrillic, initials spell out gum. Interesting. So they're the world's largest department store, do they? Any other coolers around here? Yes, one. Let's go chase him down. Closing in on you. We stopped on you. Okay, so we do want to go down the middle one. You know, attack the Isaac Newton here. Or at least Colonel Sanders. Okay, so... Actually, I find it strange. One packs up. One actually go like turns to like a balloon. Okay, where am I? It doesn't matter who you Zer Zer. Moscow has been the capital of the Soviet Union since 1918. In Soviet Russia, Moscow capital is you. Okay, that's a cannon. Soviet Russia, cannon is bigger than you. I think he's right next to that police officer. He looks a little bit suspicious. Must be a terrorist. Oh, Cooper's a terrorist in this game. I mean, how the hell do you rob a freaking can- uh, 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 An onion. A giant onion tower. How? Will that fit in their shell or something? Okay, I guess you're not that suspicious after all. Welcome, comrade. Enjoy Moscow. I'm not really gonna use Yoshi much when you to get out of the levels. Okay, so one of you guys have my last artifact, which... Is there more? Yeah, it's gotta be you then. Yeah, you just crack up, but I'm taking that damn artifact with me. I'm confused. One quarter of this country is in Europe, and the rest is in Asia. Yes, as I said before, this actually is in two different continents. I was playing a smarter than a fifth grader with one of my best friends, and believe it or not, I actually said Europe. In the question, I was partially right, but majority wrong. The majority of this continent. Yeah. Um. Nope. Don't think. Slip. Ah, up here. Okay. Like really? There are no cars around! But yeah, you're playing like Russian music here. Fortunately, I won't be touring Canada in this game, but that's how we. Okay, so why is the Borshoi Ballet close today? Okay, so the Borshoi Ballet is slipper stolen. I can't reopen until it gets retired. Here's a path of. Okay. Russian dance companies uh, the exception stars of the 20th century ballet. No troop is more famous than the Bolshi. Bolshoi? I think it's Bolshi? Yeah. That's how I'm gonna pronounce it anyway. Ballet Company. Founded in 1776. Alexander Gorsky, director of the Bolshi until 1924, is one of the most important people in the ballet world. It is said he made the dances more interesting to modern audiences by introducing the idea of realism to the choreography and scenery. Bolshi Theater was built in 1856 and seats 2,000 ballet fans. So... Let's see... Alexander is Okay, well... Animal Axe, yeah, okay. Bolshi Theater is... was built... So that every show. Show's first run movies. Okay, but oh yeah. If you get another fake. You know, because I messed that up. No, I'm not gonna save state during this at all. So but yeah. You'd actually have to waste a bit more time trying to do this. You can't collect more information off the tourists about the slipper, right? But only one of them actually would probably help you out. So, realism. Uh... What's it? Ah, okay, so it's like every show. And there you go.
go. So we got the picture for that one. Uh, what's next? Should we return? Yes, let's go down and return. I think it's down one. Yes, it is. So let's just keep on going over this way. Okay, why is the Kremlin coast today? Uh, the candle ball from the Emperor's candle was stolen and we can reopen it until it gets returned. Okay, so the Emperor's cannon is in, in the Kremlin is known as is known in Russia as Zagapuska. Notice how there's two different uh, types of spelling for Zazar. But yeah, both mean the same thing. It is the biggest cannon in the world with a caliber of 35 inches. His barrel is 17.5 feet long. The cannon was cast in 1586 by Andrei Sh uh, Shkakov and weighs a total of 40 tons as of one heavy cannon. On the barrel is a likeness to Tsar Fedor Ivanovich. Okay, so let's just get to Okay, Ivanovich actually. Uh, Cannon is the oldest, well, probably is the oldest, but actually, it's the heavy. It's supposedly the biggest, I think. How did I mess that up, though? And you know what? If I come here. Oh, come on, you're such a bit busy, too? Damn it, Blue Peach! Okay, so. Oh, come on! Because I went down one accidentally. That's gonna kill more time. An idea. Just got the Globulator. You ever hear that show, Phineas and Ferb? There's an actual evil scientist on it. I know this one because my uh, nephew actually watches it. And. Yeah. He actually. Okay, let's go, Yoshi. He actually, um... An evil sign design. He even says, oh yeah, well, it's a globulator. But everything, like, oh my god, it's a toasterator. It's a cowernator. Okay, let's see if I can actually get this in the right. Yeah, we actually going to Yoshi. Okay, this is a Kremlin right there. Finally... Why does Yoshi you know, you look at the camera and it looks like he has no eyes? I just wanted that myself. Okay, so... The Cathedral Drill Dome was stolen and we can't reopen it until we return. This strange and wonderful church was built in 1555 by Duke Ivan III, also known as Ivan the Terrible. He ordered the church built to honor their holy fool, St. Basil. Holy fool, in the name of St. Basil, is the name for a saint in, in Russia. The famous onion domes were added later in the 16th century. Although the church appears to have no real design, the building was carefully built as one large chapel surrounded by eight domed top chapels. Every room is painted in different patterns and colors. I still want to return that dome. So, yeah, holy fool means idiot in Russian. Okay, so Ivan the Terrible ordered it to be built. It's pretty easy there. Yoshi, get in there so we can get the picture. Stupid Yoshi. Okay, so where's that? Ah. Should we have no problem to get to it? So, with Russia, dinosaur walks on you! Yeah, get on, Cactus. Uh, I had trouble doing this. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we don't really need the password, but I think what I'm gonna do is stop the video here. And in the next video, we'll go through this room right here. This is Cole signing out. Peace out, everybody.